Thanks everybody for joining. Welcome to uh, Lake New Meadows AMA with uh, Poe, and uh, we have Adam as our special guest. Um, so I guess we can go ahead and kick it off. Uh, Adam, do you want to uh, kind of give a, uh, I know that uh, you guys are big on passive income. Uh, you want to kind of hit some highlights of, uh, you know, how your, your uh, NFTs work, uh, talk about your app, uh, some of your games and things like that, just to kind of educate our people. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, as you said, you know, we're all about passive income. Um, the, the absolute kind of most basic element to it is that you hold HODL and, and you get you get paid, you get you get rewarded in passive income. So it started in May last year um and basically since then we've paid out over twenty thousand bnb to our holders wow. that's mainly yes yeah, it's, it's it's quite a bit of money um that's mainly done by um taxes so there's a 10 percent tax on every buy sell or transfer and then those tokens that are collected in tax are um liquefied basically and then converted into BNB, so that every seven days you can go and collect your share from from the BNB reward pool, depending on how much HODL that you hold. Um, there's also reflections, so two two percent of every transaction is is reflections. Um, and then, you know that 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 kind of that launched May last year and was hugely successful, and obviously with the brand name was very popular but i think it's fair to say with with 99.9 .9 of projects you know they, they come onto the scene they explode and then you know most of them fail really most of them die out but we've we we've been building and building up an ecosystem around our our, pro, our uh, project to make it sustainable so all through the bear market we've been uh, people have been collecting their rewards and we've been launching as you mentioned nfts and games and our own DeFi hub where you can do staking and that's really what it's all about we're trying to create a really comprehensive slick ecosystem and app where you can simply invest and collect passive income and we're kind of wrapping that in a, in a ton of innovation and revenue generative streams yeah, that's that's a great strategy. You know, that's with Lakeview. You know, multiple revenue streams that, that benefit our our holders is is you know I, I think that that your approach is is uh, innovative and, and great. I, I kind of want to talk about your games here and uh, what's been what's been your most popular uh, game and and is are the games available? Uh, speak to if they're available on the app or do you play them on PC or are they available on both? Just kind of tell us about your games. Yeah, so in terms of gaming, um, we launched, so if you go to hodelgames.net, we launched four games that you can play for free. Um, but really where where we're taking it, and we're actually working on that at the moment, is um, we're going to make them play to earn. So two, two of the games, um, Hodel Crush and uh, Moonshot, we updated uh, this week. So we added more features and improved the gameplay. And then we're going to up, upgrade the other two games. And then we are um, adding play to earn. So the way that's going to work is play, play to earn will be for everybody. So anybody will be able to visit that platform, although we're going to kind of bring it into the main website, hodeltoken.net. But anyone can visit that platform and play those games for free. Um, unrestricted access and we're going to add play to earn so anyone will be able to play those games and earn um rewards by getting onto the leaderboards for those games with their scores and they'll get passive income by staying on those leaderboards um but the next step is that is that for people who hold our nfts hold all hand nfts there'll be extra benefits that will kind of allow you to sort of uh Perhaps, you know 
achieve a higher score because you've got some sort of boosts and enhanced um, capability. So, so anyone will be able to access play to earn, but if you hold our NFTs, you'll be able to kind of like, you know, um, do better basically and, and, and make achieve higher scores. Um, and then after those four games have been upgraded and, and play to earns added, we're then going to create a play to earn version of solitaire. So that's coming next, which is it, which will be cool because they're kind of four mini games at the moment. So Solitaire will be a sort of different audience, different game. And then on top of that, we're creating our own game, which is like a side-scrolling space space based shooter. So you like you have this kind of like fighter plane that's kind of going through space and it's all procedurally generated. And um, we're going to incorporate our NFTs into that, but that's going to be like a full scale end-to-end -end game that's going to be that's been developed now for like three months and we'll probably have another nine 12 months of nice. development. so anyone can play our games anyone can earn with them once a play to earns in but there'll be incentives to kind of buy our nfts to get like you know an enhanced experience and then depending on your scores you'll you'll be able to access passive income so it sounds like a brilliant system uh, uh, tying your NFTs to it is, is the right right move, in my opinion. Uh, uh, now, where do you buy your NFTs? I, I see OpenSea here. Is that is that the only location where you can buy your NFTs, or you or do you have a, a, a personal NFT marketplace listed somewhere else? Like, how do people how buy, do your buy your NFTs? Yeah, so we've got a, a um, NFT range called Hold Your Hands. Um, kind of surprised it's not been done in a way um but basically each nft there's ten thousand in the range they're kind of in the form of a clenched fist um, and then they're kind of accessorized with watches and different you know skins like zombie and that kind of thing i've seen them they're great they, they really are cool i, I they, they they pop up on your uh, telegram quite a bit i, I, I like them <laughs> yeah. yeah and there's like diamond skin and stuff like that so but it's really yeah. good fun but um yeah they if you go do to our website I'm, I'm sorry i just want before before we move on yeah. just, do the nfts have different qualities or are they just uh, you know do you, do you pick them based on what you like or, or do some are, is, are there rarity differences kind of talk to that if there is yeah absolutely so so yeah there is there's um there's different levels of rarity so there's six properties per hand um fingers wrist stump uh, skin, background, uh, wrist, I've said wrist, right? but there's, there's six properties per hand and then each of them is kind of like accessorized and decorated with um, with um, different attributes of different levels of rarity from, from common to mythical. Um, how it works with our NFTs is that there's 10,000 in the range and you go to our website, um, hodeltoken.net forward slash NFT, and um, you can mint your own hodl hand. They're just 0 0.25 BNB at the moment. And you'll basically, it's like a loot box campaign. You can kind of get, you can mint between one to 20 at a time and you'll receive um, one out of the, the, the set randomly. So you could get a super rare one, you know, you could get like a common one. It's pot luck, but we've also got $20,000 worth of prizes if, if you mint a superhero hand so we've got bat hand iron hand and spider hand and um, so the massive prizes and then yeah like i say they're different the different um every nft is unique and different attributes and they're all stakeable so you can actually head over to our DeFi hub which is hodlx.exchange and stake them to earn hodlx or hodl tokens which is pretty cool and then we're adding a ton of utility. So if you have NFTs in your wallet, when you buy HODL, you get bonus HODL. And um, we are integrating them into a poker game that we're building. So there's like NFTs with um, card tattoos. So you'll get you'll get benefits there. Uh, they unlock the play to earn and and a few other things that we're going to be working on. So they're feature rich, you know, utility rich, but they also can be used as, as with our kind of core identity to, to unlock uh, passive income through staking. 
so yeah you just go to the site and then one you know once people have got them they can trade them and we're listed on pretty much everything you know open c nft key um refinable we're, we're listed on all those different um marketplaces well you know uh, uh, just you know I've, of course i've looked at your website and, and you know uh, lakeview and, and hodl are partners uh i mean honestly looking at your website and and just just hearing about everything you have you have one of the most uh, comprehensive complete and everything just kind of leads to each other it's it's, it's really one of the uh, the most well thought out projects out there uh, uh thank you. Highly, highly people yeah i mean it, it's everything works together and, and you've done such yeah. a good job of, of making sure that every single aspect of it you know kind of touches on another aspect of your project and and the passive income is incredible and, and you make it fun as well so i mean kudos to that you've done just an amazing job thank you yeah well you know i think um um if we want to be here 50 years then it needs to be very sustainable so there has to be a comprehensive ecosystem that delivers a lot and so yeah we've got massive stuff coming with the play to earn we're going to build our own poker game we've got our own app coming where you, where people will be able to buy hodl and earn the passive income and then send it to a card and spend it in the, in the real world without even needing like bnb or a, or a crypto wallet it will all be done sort of through the app and um, in the front end so yeah, we're just trying to make it as accessible as possible. But really, what, why, and and why we're putting all this work in is because it's a really incredible brand, you know, with huge potential. So we're kind of um, working very hard to build a really special ecosystem around this 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 pretty um, iconic word, I suppose. And 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 you know, we keep coming back to that word because the idea is is you hodl hodl and and you and you get paid. That's it. That's what we kind of are aspiring to. Yeah, so there, there's, there's some real, real brilliance in, in the name uh, uh, as far as uh, social mentions and things like that. You guys have got it sewn up. I, I don't think there could be a better name for a token, in my opinion. <laughs> it's great. It's yeah. great. Yeah, and, and you know we're looking forward to working with you guys because obviously, yeah, you know as you kind of allude to, there's a lot in our ecosystem and it keeps us busy and you know it's, it's 24/7. So to work with you guys to kind of do some stuff with the metaverse is, is pretty cool because I do I think the metaverse is still very 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 early but I, I, I think um, the potential is huge you know the potential is is I was thinking the other day like I saw an advert on TV I think it was Facebook and then um, there was somebody with the with the VR goggles on and they were kind of doing stuff in the metaverse and and then um, it was all to do with I think it was like um a sort of virtual music studio and i just kind of had that moment of you think about it like you want to you want to you want to um, edit a song or or do some music production or any number of things even say you want to have you know you, you with the metaverse and the way things are going you can kind of remove the need for hardware which is obviously a huge expense that's and right kind of virtualize it so i i'm i'm pretty certain in, in, in my mind at least that it's going to be huge because why do you need to buy like say a recording studio and all the cost involved if you can kind of like you know access it in the metaverse um and then and then all all of the kind of uh, all of the work that, that that physical hardware would be done is, is done done on you know in the cloud yeah, so i, I yeah. think it takes off it's the application it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's like uh it's it's um augmented reality mixed with the metaverse you're right you don't have to buy the uh the, it's kind of like cloud computing but you've got the interface there right in front of you so yeah I, i'm not what's, what's gonna yeah it's gonna end up being a combination of of uh of that uh as well as as environments that are that are pleasing and and, and fun to be in uh, but yeah you, you hit the nail on the head i think it's gonna be a mixture of uh, you're not going to be completely immersed necessarily all the time. You're going to have uh, the augmented reality uh, 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 being your your interface for cloud computing and, and actually having your hardware, and then you're going to have the actual full immersion. It's going to be uh, it's going to be the best of both worlds. So, yeah, I think that the final iterations 
uh, aren't even close to being discovered yet. Um, but I, I do want to uh, move on to talking about. Uh, <clears throat> we talked about something about the uh, the, uh, the vault, the vault, uh, and how uh, yeah, how that may and how, how, how you saw it working. And, and if you want to kind of talk about that, and we will will um, uh, uh, kind of add our our two cents in on how we see it as well. Yeah, I I think what it. I had had an idea a while ago and but I've obviously never been able to act on it. And when we spoke, it kind of came back to my thinking. Um, I think one of the, you know, we, we all talk about how crypto could kind of surpass um, traditional fiat and, and money as we know it now. And I, But I do think that sometimes there's this sort of disconnect between having um billions sometimes you know particularly in DeFi, trillions whatever of, of tokens kind of in your wallet and you know with money to have like uh coins and um notes in your pocket sometimes feels more real and i think that there's kind of like a missing piece between making crypto money feel a little bit more real and so I had this kind of idea of um, wouldn't it be great if you could um, go into the metaverse or VR and and actually look at your money, you know, like in a bank vault, your crypto. So you could go in there and if you've got like loads of Bitcoin or uh, Lakeview or HODL or whatever, that you can actually kind of see that in a, in a bank vault um, to kind of make it, to, to bring it to life a little bit. So I just feel sometimes, you know, yeah, it's real, fun, yeah. but it's real, you know, Some, so it's kind of like, how can we make it feel more like real money, but without printing notes, you know, that was the idea, I guess. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and we, of course, we we haven't stopped thought, thinking about that, and, uh, you know, uh, kind of the way we see it is walking into a, a physical location uh, in, in Lakeview, and uh, it, it could very well be a hodl bank right and uh and you walk in and you know we would have an interface zerion is a, is a great example of, of you know you, you can put a wallet address and see all the tokens there right but actually having a uh, a, a physical uh projection of those tokens sitting on a, a pallet or in a in a safe deposit box you know uh representing you know your holdings i, I believe that if people could because there is something uh, esoteric that that uh, that you don't grasp when you've got you know a tri uh, you know 15 billion tokens of something, and uh, yeah, I think being able to see it and also look at it in a safe location like that's yours. It, it really kind of it brings people that just can't quite grasp crypto around to being able to to see things in the wallet and, and visually see it. I think it's a fantastic idea. And uh, Mitch, Richard, and I have been, been talking about it and thinking about how to execute that in a way that that will really, you know, uh, bring interest and and make people want to go in and, and and check out their stash. Yeah, I, th I think it just makes it that little bit more real. It's fun, um, and it's it's something I thought, oh, wouldn't that be lovely to be able to do that? Um, but it's it's you know it's a significant thing to kind of deliver on i guess and when i spoke to you guys i just thought it, it, you know because you guys are obviously being in being in a you know metaverse project uh, in crypto i think that I, I i would hope and imagine that a lot of people would would visit your metaverse if they could kind of access something like that you know it's a bit of a a unique potentially a really unique offering for people in crypto that would give them like um, even more incentive to go into your metaverse so i just thought yeah it'd be interesting and in the way you described it is exactly how i, I was thinking as well you know I, I, I think the only thing is it would be nice to sort of give some sense of scale as to the kind of position you have in a project so like um um to, if, if you're like a really big holder in like i don't know um any project that you, your your stack would kind of represent that, you know, and 
just like how it would do if you had loads and loads of gold or loads and loads of, of cash you know so yeah it's, it's 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 an interesting one and i do but i do i do feel that that but for, for, for the sort of for the normies out there who kind of aren't into crypto i think um that is something that they struggle with versus traditional money you know is the lack of of it of it of it see of it seeing seeming real and right. as well sometimes from my perspective you know i look at wallets and stuff and the way tokens are displayed in swaps and so on and particularly when they don't have commas and stuff and they're just like these huge uh numbers that are hard to relate to so i think right. it would just help build that relationship with 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 your with your money in in, in crypto I think you're absolutely correct. You know, I, I look at, you know, nowadays they've gone to not even listing the commas. It's it's like, a, you know, a drop down seven. It, you're like, okay, do I count the first zero and then add seven zeros? And uh, yeah, to be able to see your uh, a physical representation of your holdings, I think would be, uh, uh, people would just like to go and do that. You know, people are constantly checking their bank balances, right? I've got people in my family. I, I, I look at mine, you know, once every couple of weeks, but I've got people who check it every day, balance it out. I think it would be a great feature for people to go be able to go in and see a physical representation of their holdings. And I think it would, I think it would be a big draw. Yeah. 100%. And I, I think it can kind of lead on to other things as well. Like, um, you know, it would be amazing if, if we could, um, if there could almost be like a sales aspect to it as well, that you look at your stash, you know, in the vault and you might think, Hey, I want to, <laughs> that, that, that pool of whatever it is, I want to get that a bit bigger, you know? Um, cause you kind of contextualize, you know, <laughs> so there might be some scope for actually to almost kind of head in the pathway of creating a sort of a new interface between, and I mean that from a sort of perspective of a buying interface, because right. at the moment, like everything is kind of copying in DeFi, everything is kind of like a clone of pancake swap but I, it doesn't you know there has to be other other ways to present a buying process well and the the, the one thing is is that you know you go into pancake swap you know swap or any of the swaps there's there's not really any uh uh you know advertising right uh, there, there's, there's a cup, there's, there's a few things, but, you know, as far as people getting educated on, on different tokens, uh, you know, of course, the way I envision what we're talking about is basically walking into a safe deposit box, right. And, and then seeing their stuff, uh, you're, you're not really able to access anybody else's holdings, but there, there should be, you know, ways to talk about, you know, uh, you know, uh, and, and kind of tie into like what type of tokens are you interested in buying and then then add you know tokens that, that are similar to their holdings and that might augment and uh, uh you know help their holdings out so yeah there, there's tons of opportunity there for for a, a sales side and a, and a marketing side so it, it could be uh, uh not only positive for the, the customers but positive for the uh, projects that participate so completely agree i love it yeah i i think it'll be fun and it is funny like i think we all I'd, I'd be curious to know what the stats are but i mean i'm gonna make a confession like i do look at my crypto wallets like at least five six times a day <laughs> the, yeah I, you know. I, check, I check zerium it, it's, it's you know I, i've got a, quite a few wallets and that that seems to be one of the apps that that uh, uh you know puts everything in one place uh, mm. And so that, that's a great idea for, um, you know, of course, we're going to have security issues and things like that to work out. But I, I think, you know, working on this idea uh, of being able to see a physical representation of what you hold um, is, you know, will allow a lot of people to, you know, go in there and, and play Gollum and, and look at the precious, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it yeah. could be a great, you know, you mentioned advertising as well. I think that's really interesting is it's kind of like, because it because of the nature of it you know it could open up the opportunity to um um promote other things that potentially people might want to consider have adding to that box. Um, 
there's so many there's so many uh you know similar you know tokens with similar attributes that uh you know and, and just being diversified you know i think that's one thing that, that people have really seen is like the key to being successful in crypto investing is is diversification you know not putting all of your eggs in one basket you walk in if you walk in and see all of your eggs in one basket you know we could say we could show you know you you could definitely you know get some type of the same exposure but in in a different project you know just in case and uh yeah, there's a lot of opportunity there to, to educate as well as to market, uh, uh, you know, other other crypto projects. And that kind of goes back to our, our core belief that with Lakeview, you know, we we collaborate instead of compete. We are we are not afraid to uh, uh, mention other crypto projects. We, we, we want to showcase and support them. So it, it goes right along with our philosophy. And, and I, I think the, the entire idea is just is brilliant and uh, and we want to we want to begin working on it. You know, of course, we don't want to be in the, the custodial business and, and don't want to give that impression, right? Uh, there's going to need to be an interface, and of course, we'll talk about all of that, the technical side of how that's going to work. Uh, but I think Zerian has a good model to, to be able to pull all of that stuff together. You would you would go in and enter your wallet address and then be able to see what what's in it, but. Those are kind of small details, but I, I think the bigger picture is is uh, is, is marketing uh, uh, other products and uh, you know and, and uh, showing people in education, essentially education as to, to whether the tokens might be beneficial to them. But that's the way I see it. Uh, it and, and of course, you got you guys you had some incredible ideas, uh, Mitch and Richard. You guys are welcome to jump in here if you have any thoughts about this. And I guess they don't. Yes. Oh, he's, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. My connection is pretty bad. Hey, you um, can talk talk about some of the uh, technical side of, of how maybe uh, uh, you're going to be the one putting this together. By the way, so um, you you might want to talk to some of the technical aspects of it and and the uh, the, the limitations or or complete possibilities, of course. Uh, um. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Uh, the most important thing to get it all running is uh, an API that traces back all tokens that are in which wallet. Um, so we have to set up the correct API. Um, after that, we can like go fully creative with how do we want to have it? How do we want to have it to look? Do we want to have like, uh, uh, yeah pallets with with tokens or do you want to have like tables with, with big stacks or smaller stacks it's uh we have a whole open book to go through and and it's gonna be an amazing project really <laughs> yeah yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun I, I and i think i think people will the first places they're gonna want to go is you know they're gonna spawn into lakeview they're going to want to go look at their tokens and then go start playing games and, and collecting more. So, yeah, for, for people that are that are new to Lakeview, um, our, our most popular play to earn game is Treasure Hunt. And uh, I think Richard and I did the numbers last night. Uh, we have, uh, if you come in and play Treasure Hunt, you have over 43 different tokens that you can find simply by playing our play to earn game. And of course, those tokens will be stacked up and you'd be able to see them in the vault as well. So, uh, and, and Adam, I don't know how familiar you are with, with Treasure Hunt, but it, it's just an incredible game. Uh, we've got, uh, you can come in and find 43 different tokens on six different chains. Uh, and, and for those of you who don't know, Lakeview Meta is, is integrated with uh, uh, 15 different network chains. So uh, we're, we're, we're quite diverse. And uh, yeah, if, if you could go in and, and check out your, your tokens and, one of the main things that we want to do is build a dashboard and, and really the vault might be the perfect dashboard for seeing your tokens and being able to claim them. Uh, right now we do an airdrop every Friday. We do the screenshot. Uh, we'll be doing one today, as a matter of fact, for all the tokens that people have found over the past week. But uh, yeah, that creating a dashboard where people can go claim their tokens as soon as they find them is, is one of the, the uh, 
things we're going to be working on here in uh, uh, Q1 and Q2 of uh, 2023. But it ties right in with it. And uh, the vault is absolutely uh, uh, Hodel and Adam's idea. And, and it's kind of blown us away. And, and uh, we're very excited about being able to add that aspect to, uh, uh, to Lakeview and to uh, for all of our partners. But yeah. of course, yeah, I was, I was yeah, directly but, thinking about the idea that let's say, for example, you go to your stack of HODL and above it shows like uh, a button that you can buy more tokens directly from the HODL exchange and you just see it being added. Like that kind of stuff would, would, would like really blow minds, I guess. Yes. Yeah, you're exactly right. Uh, and, and Adam, you, you can kind of talk, if, if we could figure out a way to integrate where you could look at your stack and add right there while you're standing in the vault would be massive. And you could actually see the, see the right off. Yeah, I, I think in my, the way I'm kind of imagining this is, is like I say, it's kind of like um, these things exist in the real world. And um, it's a shame as it stands, the idea that if crypto replaces traditional money, we do lose some of these things because I do think people value them. So I, I always kind of come back to, well, how could we virtually replicate what is already in existence? And I think in my mind, the idea of going into a building and you could kind of talk to a, a teller and they would be able to give you like a report, which is a bit like your dashboard. You know, this is all your all your money. And then if you want, you can actually go into the vault and, and, and look at it in a, in a kind of physical sense, because I guess that's how, how it's set up at the moment is you would go in building somebody would basically run off a report around your money and then you could go in and have a look um and then yeah you know it might be that the sort of person you know if you could interact with somebody on the front end they could also tell you of other projects that are similar based on what you're holding or you could top them up or yeah you go into the vault and into the vault and look at what you've got you'd, you'd be able to kind of like also top them up or potentially sell and that kind of thing and that could just be a you know a pancake swap widget potentially in our case for example or for a lot of the DeFi tokens mm -hmm. um you know a kind of iframe on that because as soon as they're in your wallet they would show up in the vault presumably because it's just looking at what's on chain so for me it's kind of like digitalizing what already exists so that we don't lose that whilst we're trying to encourage people to move away from what exists to what's hopefully going to take over well, you know carry, carry across the stuff that we actually want to kind of live on well one of the uh, interesting bits of technology that uh, lakeview has implemented is the uh, proximity voice chat feature and uh, you know when you say talk to a teller that is 100 percent possible in lakeview uh, with our proximity voice chat you, you, you know you don't have to be in a private room uh but if you were talking with the teller you kind of want that but we could actually have have people at, in in the quote unquote bank or vault area or whatever we want to or exchange however we want to call it and you could actually have a a, a person actually uh, verbally consult with you about about your wallet holdings about you know what what they think would would benefit you as, as far as you know what what direction you're going what what type of tokens you're interested in investing in and actually give re recommendations as well as you know you know pitch other tokens so yeah it's all coming it's in and uh yeah we're on the forefront of technology with the uh, proximity voice chat and uh you know we can give talks we can do amas and there people can actually do pitches to groups of people who are interested in investing and uh, and provide a, a complete service for uh, uh for our clients customers uh players however you want to uh, call them but yeah it's, it's very exciting stuff man and we really appreciate you bringing the idea to us yeah no it's a pleasure I and mean, it's just yeah like you say it's really it kind of gets the mind moving you know thinking about all this stuff but, I do, but you know if, if we think about banks at the moment you know um a lot of the banks are closing down because the overhead's too high and that's why i think that partly ties into why people have a a, a problem with 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 money as it is now i mean these are high overhead businesses 
and and they're, they're aware that, that that kind of operating model is, is becoming more difficult and as a result banks are closing you know you go into banks and where you, you used to go in and talk to people and do whatever it was you needed to do and that was kind of part of the um enjoyment i suppose of banking or part of the service now it's all it's all like with supermarkets and so on and groceries you know it's moving toward automation and machines and mm -hmm. you know um reducing that overhead and i think you guys have this just like unbelievable opportunity with storefronting and almost like some of the banking side of stuff to digitalize that um because it just doesn't it, you know it's a bit it's, it's work for you guys to set it up and it's work for projects to kind of uh develop their responses and so on if there was tellers or or you know you put kind of um representatives into the metaverse on behalf of your project but if you think about like crypto plus plus like virtual banking versus fiat and bricks and mortar wow you know like, like the the difference in in that kind of operating overhead is, is just insane but it actually provides the same thing if not anything it's better because it's scalable you don't need to have like oh there's 100 people walk into the bank we need five people standing there you know or and that kind of like you know uh variable demand and the problems that come with that with 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 banking and banks at the moment you know it's scalable and it's um yeah i thought yeah that, that that ties into what we said at the start i think that's why i'm so confident in where this technology is going because it's um instant access scalable but commercially it's infinitely more affordable than you know <laughs> creating a physical bank or creating right. a recording studio or, or any number of things. Yeah. And the, the other thing to, to think about is, you know, they, they talk about Bitcoin and, and how much energy it uses. Well, Bank of America has how many branches that they have to heat, cool, uh, 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 blacktop the driveway, do the landscaping. You know, you want to talk about energy intensive. You know, it, it, if we can, if we can uh, tap the market and, and have, uh, you know, basically people can sit behind the computer and walk around with their client inside of the metaverse, talk with them uh, using the proximity voice chat. And you're talking about saving tons of energy uh, and, and expense and giving relatively the same experience. So, yeah, it's definitely going this direction. I hope more people start understanding that. And, uh, you know, if, if uh, to make the experience uh, 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 lifelike and, and immersive and, uh, and and very similar to what they experience in life, it'll make it a lot more comfortable for them. They will they will get it. Like where a lot of people don't understand crypto, I think that that uh, putting it in a physical form that they can experience is is going to to lend to confidence and uh, and and a, just a great user experience in the end. And uh, yeah. That, the, we're so excited about the future and so excited about uh, our, our partnerships and, and Lakeview in general. Um, but yeah, th this is a uh, this is a direction that everything is going, and we're going to be right there on it. Ryan, no, I'm, I'm excited for you guys. Like I said, it's a really fun project, so I'll be keeping a close eye. And yeah, I I I, I love it, and I just think it can bridge so many gaps that that I'm worried that are part of the reason why people aren't adopting crypto you know they're just it's uh i think for a lot of people they just don't think it's tangible and that for me is like a real issue um is is that money right now and banking right now it, it, it's more ingrained into society and more 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 physically more physically represented and, and you know we can kind of oh find i that I have I have certain people in my family, and it, and it doesn't matter the uh, the success I have, or or uh, you know, they, they they hear about the headlines and they don't realize the the undercurrents and the the actors. For every failure, there's 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 lots of successes, and and not everybody is was harmed by uh, you, indirectly. They were harmed by kind of some of the stuff that's been in the news lately. But you know, uh, crypto seems to have a short memory and. Uh, I, I think that, uh, you know, where this, you know, 
involving the metaverse and involving key partnerships is going to be uh, the, the successful uh, way forward uh, uh, here in, in for 2023 and beyond. So, yeah, it, uh, if you have any uh, kind of uh, closing remarks or, or uh, anything that you want our, our side to know about HODL, go ahead and uh, uh, give a little uh, uh, talk about, about why people should go to HODL and, and, uh, and check everything out. And, and uh, we'll go ahead and make sure all of your uh, socials are posted here after we get through with the AMA. But yeah, I think some great ideas. Great are idea. And uh, yeah, it, this has been great. Yeah, thank you. I mean, it's, yeah, it's um, what we're trying to do, I guess, with HODL is, um, and as I'm sure kind of anyone can appreciate, we are the custodians of a really interesting brand name um, that's sort of like arguably the biggest word in crypto. And that's something that we um, take seriously. You know, it's it's the opportunity to become a household name is 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 there so it's our kind of job to, to take that opportunity and the way we're trying to unlock that is by really investing a huge amount of energy into building a, a really slick um a series of products and innovations that wrap around the concept of of you hold our token and 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 you get passive income and that for me is uh, an interesting one because I think particularly now more than ever, but, but whether you're rich or poor or somewhere in the middle, we all want our money to work harder. We all want passive income um, coming to us because it's one of the most central things that, that there is. So, um, um, and our view on that and what we're trying to do is to make that easier and easier to access, you know, and our roadmap and the things we're working on are going to help unlock that and make it so that anyone can access HODL. They don't, you don't need to know how pancake swap works or or how an exchange works to get the BNB to then swap the tokens. You know, we're just going to pull it all into one app and just keep building around this this amazing word, really. And you know, we but we're also recognizing that we can't do everything, so. I'm looking forward to working with you guys on the metaverse elements and and you know we, we've we've touched on some of our ideas so yeah we're going to keep going with it as you kind of touched on it's a pretty crazy time out there right now but I, I do think it's an opportunity as well for projects like ours to say to people hey look you know we're still here we're still building we're still just as passionate about what we're doing as ever so you know we're going to continue to be here um and to make people understand that so yeah we're we're holding on through it all and and that, and that's really what we're we're trying to do and and i hope we can work closely with you guys on on innovation within the metaverse so yeah looking forward to it yeah you, you're you're so fortunate to have the name holding on that that's a that's a great way to put it and uh yeah you know lakeview we, we have we have super long-term goals uh and and what, what you see now is is uh, uh, just the beginning, um, and you know um, these things that we're talking about, and they, they might sound kind of far fetched to uh, uh, people that are listening, but I, I assure you they are just around the corner. Um, and uh, uh, you know, of course, we're always open. If anybody's heard anything today that inspires an idea please share it with us. You know, we're, we're wide open. Uh, you know, some of the best ideas come from people who are, are just hearing this for the first time. And, and uh, so we invite people to to have input in Lake, Lakeview. And uh, yeah, we, we really appreciate you uh, taking the time to come and do an AMA with us. I think it's been very informative and uh, some uh, and educational. Um, yeah, we're, we're so excited about the future uh, and uh, want to wish everybody a, a Merry Christmas and a happy new year and, and all the rest. And thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure. Thank you. Really appreciate it. And keep up the great work, guys. It's it's looking really good. And yeah, the future's good from that there. So if you're out there, you know, keep holding on with Lakeview because yeah, future <laughs> Thank you so much.
Well, all right, guys. Does anybody have? Let's uh, let's let's open up. If anybody has any questions, uh, go ahead. Uh, we, we'd like to. If anybody has anything to say, give everybody an opportunity, and then we. If, if not, we will wrap everything up. And this is always the, the awkward silence when you wait for questions. People getting the nerve up to speak, but give you about ten seconds to jump in. And with that, uh, just just for everybody's information, we've recorded all of this. We will go ahead and post it. And uh, I, I highly recommend you uh, uh, check back in and, and listen to it maybe once or twice. There's been a lot of information shared here. So once again, uh, Adam and Odell, thank you guys for being here. And uh, have a great weekend. Uh, we look forward to our future conversations and, and development together. Great stuff. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Cheers, guys. All right. Take care. So yeah.